It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Anchor Brewing Company and it's a can of their Fog Breaker IPA coming in at 6.8% ABV in a 355 milliliter bottle. There's the bottle cap. Without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. Big fan of Anchor, one of the original American craft brewers from, I think they probably started in the 1970s. Uh, their history goes back over a hundred years, but it, it's slightly complicated. I think there was a break between brewing, uh, but they definitely go back to the 1970s. So we got a four finger white head, lovely hazy looking beer, lots of carbonation. A light kind of golden amber coloured ale. At this stage of the beer review I'd like to say a massive thank you to our channel sponsors beersofeurope.co.uk beersofeurope.co.uk the largest online beer store in the UK with a massive range of beer from all around the world. If you like trying different beers from around the world and you live in the UK check the link in the description box of the video. For their website let's get the aroma. Yeah, this has got classic American IPA written all over it. It's a lovely kind of punchy grapefruity aroma. Very citrusy, there's some orange peel. Should we dive in? Cheers everybody. Yeah. It's what the Americans do best, I think. It's, um, this, is, this is heading towards, I can really feel the bitterness now on the back of the palate. This is heading towards classic kind of West Coast style IPA where lots of flavor at the beginning, lots of kind of nice kind of grainy, biscuity, sweet malts coming through, almost like a, a, a brittle toffee. You know the toffee hammer toffee used to get years ago? That kind of toffee. With a mixture of pineapple, grapefruit, lemon peel, orange peel. So big bold flavours in the middle and then towards the back end a spicy peppery bitterness. I feel at home with, with beers like this. Um, I, I just really like that style of beer. It's a style of beer that really changed everything for me when it comes to beer. Um, when I started the channel 10 years ago, yeah, we, we January we celebrated 10 years on YouTube. I didn't make a video, I should have done. 10 year celebration on YouTube, perhaps I will. But celebrating 10 years on YouTube when I first started, it was all about, and to be honest, I didn't really know back then. It was, but I was drinking classic kind of regional brewery, real ales, malty, biscuity beers. And I was contacted by a company, uh, they're, not, they're not around anymore, um, they were called My Brewery Tap. And they sent me a selection of American craft beer. I remember straight away the excitement from this company to send me the beer in the first place. Um, the company owner actually, Richard Burhouse, went on to bring out another company called Magic Rock Brewing Company. So before Magic Rock he was doing this My Brewery Tap um, online beer sales thing and we, we hit it off straight away me and Richard, he's um, a top guy. Um, when Magic Rock first opened, I, I, I'm going to go back to my story in a minute, but when Magic Rock first opened, I was invited up, uh, one of the first bloggers to go up there, myself and Hop scene, um, and we, we had a really good time. We had a really good time with Richard, um, spent all night drinking, having fun, reviewing, um, 
I woke up with a stinking headache in the morning. I remember waking up thinking, how on earth am I going to get back from Yorkshire back down to South Wales? It was one of those hangovers. Um, not through bad beer, nothing like that. It was just just the amount of beer we drank. Um, good times, really, really, really good times. So where was I in this story? So yeah, so I, I tried one of these American IPAs and it blew my mind. It changed my kind of thought process on beer, what I thought beer was, where beer was going in the next 10 years. Um, it's been on a fantastic journey since 2010 when I started to 2020 now where we are. Lots of different breweries, lots of different styles, lots of different varieties. It's a, it's a magical moment to be to be involved in beer. I'm very, very privileged to, to say I can I can I can travel to festivals and breweries and it's really a, a really good time for beer. But yeah, just drinking, just having a few sips of this beer just sent me into that kind of story. That that story of 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 where it all began. This is this is that typical type of beer that I was drinking ten years ago. Lovely carbonation, pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. A little bit of tartness coming through. Yeah, really good, really good stuff. What the anchor say about this beer? Fog Breaker is a bright and refreshing San Francisco IPA. Fresh pine and tropical hops with a smooth, clean finish. Yeah, absolutely. Big fan. Big fan. Let's rate it. Looks good in the glass. Lovely lacing. Good carbonation. Nice and hazy. Classic American style IPA. Good, good ABV as well. 6.8% ABV. I'd say if you're going to call an American IPA an American IPA, it, le it needs to be at least 6% ABV. So an 8 out of 10 for me. 8 out of 10. Thank you all so very much for watching. If you like what you see, please comment. Please subscribe. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!